Hey everybody, we're here to uh, talk about cleaning off this, this glass-only replacement of this uh, 929 icon here. Uh, it also works with a 930. Uh, it looks like this glue's a little bit different. It's, uh, it's a lot of times you can take your fingers and rub it off, uh, like on a, an Apple display, sometimes on the Samsung displays. It's uh, not stuck on too well. This has some real adhesive property to it. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to try to do is uh, a couple different methods. We'll try to use some... Um, 90% uh, or higher alcohol, which is the first method I would use, uh, probably the safest one. Uh, if that doesn't work, I usually resort to uh, some Goo Gone and try that out. And if that still doesn't work, then I do Goo Gone plus heat and a scraping tool. Uh, but really what we're going to try to do is take some uh, alcohol here first and a microfiber cloth. Just go ahead and put a little directly onto the AMOLED display. And we're going to see if this will uh, take off any of this glue here. We're going to just kind of rub it around a little bit, uh, give it some time to soak in. We're going to see a little bit come off. He's a scraper here. Well, that is really, really, really stuck on there. Sometimes it'll come off in chunks. It looks like we're going to have to use some Goo Gone for this display, actually. I'll just rub it back and forth a little bit here so we can make any progress. Not a whole lot. Looks like that would take an extremely long time. You can see I've made a little tiny right there in the middle. So this Goo Gone here, this orange stuff, uh, will help dissolve this loca a little bit quicker. It will make your display smell orange. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure you clean it thoroughly before you uh, go to the next step. So we're just going to go ahead and smooth this around a little bit. And just try to get it uh, around the sides. I don't want to leak behind the display. So I'm just going to use my finger to spread it out. It's kind of got an, an oily uh, type substance to it. Uh, so normally once you spread it in, it'll kind of sit where it's at. And normally it works pretty quick. Uh, to remove adhesive. Try this out here in the middle where we started. It's working a little bit better. Still not a whole lot. I'll just try to spread some more back around here. Try to scrape a little bit more off. You can use a scraping tool to help out. I would only use a nylon spudger. I wouldn't use anything metal on this. It's uh, basically just a, a small piece of uh, plastic that you're actually scraping against. Uh, so just be aware of that. See, it's looking a little bit better, but normally it'll come off in fairly big swaths. But uh, this looks like uh, it's some pretty strong glue they got going on here. I made a little bit of progress there. Definitely not as much as I wanted to. You see, the longer it sits, the little bit easier it gets to scrape off. It's a little bit better. So I've worked on it for quite a bit here and it doesn't seem like it's uh, coming off in the way that I want it to. Uh, so rather than waste my time scraping little tiny pieces off, I'm just going to put some of this on here. I'll probably let it sit for about 45 minutes uh, and come back and uh, see how that works out for us. Um, I'll kind of just jump to the next portion of this here after I let it sit for 45 minutes and see how that works out. There's a big piece here I'm just going to pull off. Before I get this started here. All 
All right, so we're back from letting it sit. We'll start with our scraping tool here and see how it comes off. It looks like it's a little bit easier. It's still not uh, just wiping it off like uh, I'm a little bit more used to. So you just uh, using our cloth here, you can see that it's a little bit more pliable. You just have to scrub a little bit. You can put a little bit of force on this display. It's not going. It's going to bend a little bit. It's not going to snap. Just don't be too extremely forceful. So we may have to take our spudger here and on the high points of the glue, uh, just go ahead and scrape it a little bit. Now I'm not putting a lot of force with my scraper. Basically all I'm doing is uh, just sliding it over it a little bit, trying to get it to, the glue to spread around a little bit so it's uh, is easier to remove. I have this uh, plastic razor blade I'm going to try here. It has a longer edge on it, make a little bit more progress. It looks like that works a little bit better for us. Now when you're doing this, try not to push any of this glue behind the display. You don't want it to actually hit onto the ribbon cable in the back there. Uh, there's some sensitive uh, chips on there. You don't want to get any liquid onto them. All right, so it looks like that worked the best. Uh, try to get as much as the large portion off before you do this, and then use a nice flat surface tool like this uh, plastic razor blade. And then just do a little bit of scrubbing here, and uh, you'll get your display nice and clean. So let's try to be careful not to get anything on the back here. Is there a ribbon cable? If you want to see the next portion of this, the application of the LOCA, let's go look in the description and the link will be down there.